What's up? It's your boy, King of Creams. What is going on, everybody? And thank you for joining me for my fourth episode. And today, we're gonna to do something a little bit different. So we did the worst ice creams. We're not gonna do the best yet, but we're gonna do the most underrated. And I actually got a name for the show. We're gonna call it The Yellow Label. So I gotta say the words, like and subscribe, guys. Sorry. But if this is your first time, welcome. If you come back again, thank you very much. And like I said, we're gonna be talking about the most underrated ice creams in my opinion. Um, these ice creams are just gonna be the board flip one and the board flip two. We're really not gonna talk about any boutiques uh, for the moment. Uh, we're gonna start off with the board flip two first and then we're gonna hit the board flip one. So sit back, enjoy, leave some comments, check me out on Instagram, King of Creams with a Z, and let's jump right into it. All right, so first on my list is gonna be the first release on the board flip two. Now, I know this is a lot of people's favorite. It actually is one of my favorites too, but I think it's also underrated. Just a disclaimer before I let you guys know exactly what the shoe color is. We're not doing technical names. We're just gonna do blue and pink. We're not gonna do any that Nordic and bubble pink. No, we're just doing the, the name that what we see. And coming in uh, first is gonna be the blue and pink board flip two. Now this board flip two was the first one to launch off the uh, off Pharrell's second line. Uh, and it was actually pretty cool how they did it. The coolest thing about this shoe is that the, we got a signature shoe from Terry Kennedy. So Terry Kennedy was the uh, captain of the skate team at the time. Now, crazy thing about this shoe is that where the tongue is that says Terry Kennedy, and I'm looking for one, uh, there is one with just an ice cream logo. Now, uh, I think it's pretty rare, which means that if you have it, you're probably not gonna give it up now. But if you ever see one, let me know. You could do a lot of cool things with the shoe. I see people put yellow laces in here, blue laces, white. The shoe is very, very uh, plain compared to the structure of the board flip one. So this was almost like a, uh, a Stan Smith Reebok. All right, you have the uh, ice cream label on the back. The pink laces, this one is dead stock. I have a couple of these. Um, these aren't as rare as people think, but if you do have that one with the ice cream label on it, definitely, definitely hold on to that, or definitely, definitely let me know. So I'm gonna say coming in at number one, even though this is not like a top 10 list, but I'm gonna say one of my favorite underrated shoes is gonna be the Terry Kennedy Blue and Pink. Michael Schumacher already owns almost every significant record in Formula One racing. His next milestone is a record-tying fifth world championship, and he's well on his way to that this season. Oh dear, oh dear, Still, oh dear. each time he climbs into his car, he has something to prove. You are the best in the world, and you are, by everybody's judgment. Nobody even questions that. On a you know, in sport, you can always question. Oh dear, you win oh a race, oh the next oh race is a question. Why you're still the best or not? That's, that's what is, uh, funny but that's what is interesting and that's what is challenging you have to prove yourself every time All right, so staying along with that solid theme for the board flip two is gonna be another of one of my favorites, but also underrated is gonna be the all green with your hint of the uh, Carolina blue. So this board flip was also released along with the, uh, the solid colorways as well. Uh, this one is totally, totally underrated. I don't know why uh, a lot of people, I'm not gonna say don't like the shoe, but this is never really on their top 10 of any type of ice cream. Um, the shoe is well underrated just because of the fact that it's definitely an eye catcher. You see somebody walking with some all green sneakers, um, it's already gonna be like, oh, you know, what type of shoe is that? This shoe is timeless in my opinion. Um, what I liked about the Board Flip 2 is that it was a little subdued than the Board Flip 1. I wanna say, now I'm not a skater, but I wanna say that the Board Flip 1 was more for the skater, while the Board Flip 2 was more for the skater and the casual wearer as well. You have the ice cream on the tab, you have the all green, you have the hint of blue with the laces. 
Um, there's nothing else I can really say about this shoe. It's pretty dope. Definitely gonna be underrated on the list as well. And uh, I'm gonna go to another shoe, which is also with this solid pack release. And that's gonna be coming up next. All right, so next on my list, I'm gonna use uh, the, um, the technical name. So this one is uh, Sheer Gray and Brick. What I loved about this solid colorway was that this was one of the board flips that can definitely go with everything, okay? Um, now we've seen board flips that were gray in the past, so this was nothing new. This is probably, out of every board flip, one of the plainer uh, colorways. Nothing crazy, you have the gray, you have the red on the back, which is the brick, and you have the black laces. Black laces go okay with it. Um, I kinda could've, could've switched it out, but I, I didn't. Um, there is one thing I will say about this shoe, though. Uh, I'm not sure if a lot of you experienced this, but I probably have like four or five of these, and every single one that I have besides this one is starting to discolor around the toe cap. I'm not sure if that's happening to you guys. Uh, you could drop a, a, a little comment and let me know. Um, same thing with the green, nothing, nothing too crazy going on here. Um, highly, highly underrated. I will say that this is probably on my top 10. If I had to pick a top 10 for board flips, this one is definitely gonna be on it. Um, but it is so underrated. I really love this shoe a lot. I just wish it got a lot more of the credit it deserves. So we have the sheer gray and the brick, which is gonna be next on my list. If you guys have this shoe, hold on to it because another timeless shoe that can go with anything. So next on the list is definitely one of the otter pairs. Otter, I don't even know if that's a word or not, but it's gonna be the otter release. And what I mean by that is a white pair of ice creams. Now when these first came out, I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, so this is not going with the theme of the ice cream. But the more I started to kind of gravitate towards it, I'm like, well, you know what? I can see how this can go. Maybe Pharrell, maybe they were looking for like a different approach. I know a lot of people don't really mess with these, but 100% in my opinion, underrated as hell, all right? We're gonna stick with the first one first. Now with this shoe, I have very rarely seen it a lot. I'm not sure about you guys, but I actually only have one pair of these and it's this one. These have never been worn, they are dead stock. It's kind of an odd release, like I said before, because you really don't see a lot of the white ice cream, but for some reason, I'm definitely digging this. You have the, the, the green, you have your accent of the, of the white, this is more of a, I'm just gonna go chill on a yacht, play some tennis, and I don't wanna be involved with anybody type of shoe. But then you have its counterpart, and these have been dubbed. And just so you guys know, um, the names that the ice creams have, we give them. Like, they don't really have that official name. Cookies and cream, um, sorbet, and all these other colorways. We've, we've given them that. So uh, these have been dubbed the cookies and cream. Same thing with the white and green. You have the white and you have the black, and then that is it. All right, so with the cookies and cream, I wanna say maybe, now I could be totally speculating, but maybe they were not running out of colors, but they wanted to maybe try something new, um, try to bring in some more of the uh, neutral fans to ice cream, and maybe that's why they did this one. Uh, but totally underrated, and I don't know why, but it, this, this shoe was just totally underrated to me. There's nothing really special about it. It's just a white and black shoe. There's nothing crazy going on, but I don't know. It's it, it pulled me in when I saw it. The white and green pulled me in a little bit more, but I gotta say the cookies and cream and the uh, white and green, uh, that rhymes, definitely underrated on my list. Uh, so we have the cookies and cream, white and green, board flip two, I'm almost through.
All right, so I know I'm gonna get yelled at for this one because if you've seen my last list, the top worst ice creams, a lot of people are probably gonna say this one is gonna be on the list. Um, and I don't know, I totally don't agree at all. Uh, this is a weird looking color, but uh, for me, I guess it was, since it was so hard for me to get, I felt that maybe it could be an underrated shoe. A lot of you will say this is an ugly shoe, right? And first seeing it, I'll be like, okay, cool. But for me, no. Um, you kind of got to set off the right fit with this one. This is more of an olive green. It's not like a total green. It's more of an olive green. You have an all black shoe. Now, one of the things that I like that Ice Cream did, and I may be the only one like this, but I love when a company, especially a shoe company, takes a shoe and they may just keep the entire shoe one color and then they might, for the next release, switch it up. So this also came with the all black and there was also a gray with it as well. Like I love when uh, shoe companies do that. I don't like when they did it with the yellow ones, right? So you have the yellow all ball flip two, then you have the black and yellow ball flip two, and then you had, you know, the gray and yellow. Like, I don't like when they did it with that. I love the shoe a lot, actually. It's actually really dope. This was, uh, just for some rare facts, uh, this was the shoe that was, uh, I'm not sure if you guys remember Pharrell holding up that checkered shoe. It was based off of, uh, of this model. So you have your black, olive green, underrated as hell. What, what do we call this one? No. Uh, 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 peppermint. What do they call this one? Peppermint? Something like that. I don't know. All right, lastly for the board flip twos, um, if it didn't make this list, it's either gonna be because it was on the ugly as hell list or it's gonna be on my best ice creams list. So this is gonna be the last of the underrated board flip twos. And like I said before, with the last pair, I really like when companies kind of take the, the, the main color and just switch something different. So my favorite board flip two of all time is all yellow. But for this pair, they took the all yellow and just made an accent of black for the toe cap and the tongue and the heel. And I love this shoe. I think that this shoe is probably one of the most underrated board flip twos um, out of the whole collection. Weird fact about this, um, I actually, this shoe was actually released right around the same time that the red board flip one and the yellow board flip one was released. They had like weird release dates. You could buy a board flip one and a board flip two um, at the same time. Um, and I've actually bought this shoe from the store. I bought those three at the same time. So with this shoe, you have the all yellow, you have the black, you have the black on the tongue, and you also have the black on the back. You really don't see this shoe a lot. I only have one of these. I'm looking for a brand new pair because I wore the hell out of this one. So if you have this one, I would say hold on to it because I'm not gonna say it's rare. I don't think any board flip twos are gonna be rare, except if you have one of the limited edition New York or, or Japan or that the first colorway without the TK on it. Uh, uh. But this one with the black and the, uh, and the yellow is definitely one of my favorite underrated shoes. And it's gonna round up the, uh, the list for the board flip twos underrated. I hope you guys enjoyed the, the board flip two. We're gonna jump into the uh, board flip one right now. All right, so board flip one, I wanna say a lot of people find more colors uh, on the board flip one a little bit better than board flip two. So I'm not gonna really review a lot of underrated board flip uh, ones just because a lot of them are gonna be on the list that's actually really good. But the shoe is dope as hell. And I have no idea why, but it is dope as hell. Now I have the sample of this shoe, right? And the only difference with the sample 
Actually, there's two differences. One of them has the running dog in the back, which is super rare. That's a sample only. Those never came out. They dropped the uh, running dog and then picked up the new uh, logo, which was the ice cream logo. And it's a little bit slimmer at the tongue and vamp area. Uh, with the board flip one, it was super, super comfortable if you're walking or skating in it. Uh, this colorway, I actually changed out the laces. So this is a cream colorway. Um, and I believe it came with the white, with white laces. So the shoe was actually dope all around. Uh, I actually like the fact of the pink in the back. They did a great job with that. Um, you have, like I said, you have the white tongue. The shoe came together great. Uh, it's kind of an off cream color. I don't want to keep saying brown, but I just call it the pink and brown board flips. But this is going to be number one for the underrated board flip. I hope you guys really agree with me on this one because this one is one of my favorite board flip ones. All right, so getting back to what I was saying about when a shoe company uh, basically takes one shoe and changes uh, something else slightly different for the next pair. And for the blueberry pair, you're gonna get that, that same feel. So right over here, I'm holding the blueberry in the right, and you have the all gray that's gonna be in the left, all right? So side by side, these shoes are kind of the same, just a little bit different. And in some areas, obviously the toe cap is one of them. Uh, you still kept the pink stripe on the side, but I'm just gonna start with the gray one first, all right? So first of all, shout out to Illy because he actually gifted me a pair of these. Ironically, um, funny story, these were the first ever ice creams uh, that I've ever saw. My brother actually had these first. We didn't even know what we were looking at. I didn't even think they were ice creams. And this was actually the last pair to, to get into my collection. Thank you, Illy, appreciate that. Um, super simple, nothing crazy about this, which is why it's also, I believe, an underrated shoe. Uh, quick fact, this is also a Terry Kennedy signature shoe. However, on this one, I have the ice cream logo. So if you have the Terry Kennedy versus the ice cream logo for this one, there's really not much of a difference in rarity or price. I wanna say it's the same, because maybe the same amount was produced. Um, for the sorbet, the pink sorbet, or the, um, or the first board flip two, pink and uh, blue, maybe there's a little bit of a difference. With the gray laces, it looks amazing. Uh, the white actually will just make the shoe pop a little bit more. Now, on the flip side, it's counterpart. I wanna say they kinda of kept everything the same, but they added a little bit more of the accent. So the tongue area, you're gonna have the pink. You have the blue on the toe cap right over here. The midsole kinda of stayed the same. I wanna say this is more of a lighter pink than this right over here. The back, you have the blue, and you have uh, the, um, the outsole is gonna be brown, while this one is it's gonna be gray. Uh, this one is also a super, super rarity in my opinion. I actually found this shoe for 20 bucks in Broadway Mall at Foot Action or Athlete's Foot, which is sitting there amongst a whole bunch of shoes. Um, it's really it's really sad that these shoes didn't do as well as they uh, thought they were gonna do. But nevertheless, you have the uh, Board Flip One uh, Blueberry and your All Gray Board Flip One as my number two pick, two and three pick. All right, so I saved this one for last. Um, if you guys really know your history, you really know uh, your ice creams, you're gonna know what video Pharrell actually, I'm not gonna tell you, but you're gonna know what video Pharrell actually wore these. In. And I actually think that, I don't wanna say that was my reason for getting them, but when a, an athlete or a singer or an artist wears a shoe, we all know it sells better. And there's nothing special about this shoe. It's just straight black. But wearing it in the margarita video was just like, all right, I want it. Super underrated, dope as hell, black cat, board flip one. All right? This one I have a lot of because we usually gonna have a lot of shoes. I just keep the, this is the original tag. I keep the original tag. This one is dead stock. You don't really see these a lot. Uh, at least I haven't. And the ones that I have seen, I picked up. Uh, this shoe can go two ways. This is a casual shoe. You can actually wear it as a, you know, as a, as a skateboarding shoe. 
Um, you can wear it if you're old as hell as a geriatric shoe. Uh, I don't know. It looks like it looks like a dad shoe. It's like a they wear ahead of their time. Simple with the midsole, you have the gray stripe. It actually looked dope if you just I'm just gonna bend down and pick this up. If you kind of just like did like a left or no it wouldn't. Forget it. Uh, you have the hint of the suede on the back. I actually do like that. Uh, and you have your leather on the side. Um, you have the blue ice cream logo, which is gonna be on the tongue. And blue laces in this is straight fire. So if you guys wanna uh, switch these black laces out, just don't put white laces in it. Don't don't do any of that. Don't put red laces. No, it's it's over. Either do the do the black or the blue. This is probably out of all the shoes I just reviewed. I want to say the most underrated ice cream board flip um, as well. All right. So guys, I want to thank you. Not not a, not a long episode, but um, we got something coming up soon. Not a long episode, but I want to thank you for tuning in to the Yellow Label. I am your host, King of Creams. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, which is King of Creams with a Z. All right. Also, make sure you participate in Ice Creams Day. I'm just going to explain it real quick. So every year I do an ice cream day. All you have to do is just post up a picture of this year of anything ice cream. It could be a shirt. It could be a clock. Just make it look unique. Make, it, make sure you tag me and make sure you use the hashtag we all scream ice creams with a Z. All right. Follow me on YouTube. Follow me on SoundCloud and on Instagram. Once again, I'm your host, King of Creams. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Yellow Label. I'll see you guys another time. And of course, next we're going to do, should we do the underrated boutiques or the best ice creams according? But if I do the best ice creams, is that according to you or is it according to me? Something you got to figure out. Peace.